Hello everyone and welcome to Strictly The Truth. I'm your host James Jordan and I'll be joining Hello for this series of Strictly to share my thoughts on all the dances. I was a pro myself on the show for many years and I know that you at home have been watching for many years too. And sometimes I think the judges can be a bit too harsh, but probably more often not harsh enough. So join me for the new series so we can dive into all the dances in detail and do it right. Joining me today is Hello's Digital TV and Film Editor, Emmy. Hello, Emmy. And we're kicking things off with the best of the bunch. Can I just say that this week Strictly, in my opinion, has been the strongest week one for many, many years. And I'm going to tell you why. First of all, the music, I thought, the choices were fantastic. The choreography that the pros did, I thought, was exceptional. Um, I just felt that the whole show, I, I just had a really good feeling about it. It just seems like a really high standard very early on. And I think this could be a really, really good series. Okay, Emmy. so let's do this. What did you think and who was your favourites this week? Well, like you said, what a show. Uh, it was absolutely amazing for week one, incredible. And, you know, straight away, I'm engaged with all these people. I'm invested. I don't know how the show does it, honestly. I think it's so hard. You know, there were so many and they were so good for different reasons. But I loved I loved Krishnan and Lauren so much. I think he's just having the most amazing time and there is something so satisfying about watching a very serious person <laughs> do something you know something so enjoyable and sort of unserious in a way and uh and I, and I love that he's just absolutely owning it and just having so much fun with it and I I, I really think you know he's obviously not the the best of the bunch not by a long shot but I think he's going to go very very far I hope so too and it's it's great that you picked up on that as a let's say, a non-trained Borum and Latin dancer. Because for me personally, I've seen great dance in my whole life. So it's not for me just about seeing the best. It's about seeing someone that entertains me and touches me in a certain way. And I think that's what he did. He went out there, he threw himself into it 100%. Yes, technically, you could pull it to pieces, but it was so much fun. And he's definitely going to get the public behind him. And I think hopefully if he can keep creating performances like that, he's going to stay in the competition a long time. And you have to say kudos to Lauren for creating a routine because it's actually sometimes easier to create a, a professional standard routine than something that is going to be for someone that's not as or doesn't have such a high ability and create something that is so entertaining. So I think she did a fantastic job. Uh, in your best of the bunch, then, James? They would definitely be in my best of the bunch. So, Nigel and Katya, top of the Unbelievable. It was ridiculous how good it was. It was so good, I can't even tell you. It's one of my favourite passos ever on Strictly. I'm not going to say the best because you've had Danny Mac and people like that. But it was comparable. It's up there with one of the best passos. And this is just week one. I think Katya did a fantastic job with the routine, the costumes, the music, everything come together. You can see, obviously, he's had dance training before. There's certain things that the celebrities do um, that you can go, ah, there's no way you could do that unless you've had dance training. But there's lots of people on the show this year that have had dance training. And you need them in the show. You need that mix of good dancing with people like Krishnan that are going to just blow you away with the exuberance and the fun factor. Ellie and Vito. Um, Vito, I don't know that much about him. He's one of the newer pros. But again, I thought he was absolutely fantastic. I love his dancing. Really powerful. They came out. Jive is a tough dance to get week one. Um, and I think they did, a, again, a fantastic job, full of energy. She's very powerful. She hits her lines, bang. Again, fully invested in it, loved them. The only thing with them is I would say that she was just a little bit heavy at times. I think Shirley picked up on it, that there were times where uh, she was really high energy and other times the kicks were a little bit lackluster, needs more retraction in her legs. And the jive basic, I didn't feel it was bouncy enough, as light as I would like to see it. 
got to mention Angela Rickham. Um, uh, she was sensational, 78 years old and moving like that. I thought it was um, beautiful, um, so classy. Um, and there were others as well, um, but they're, they're the ones that really, really come to my mind. Yeah, that's that's a really good selection. I mean, um, Ellie, I don't even think Vito was expecting Ellie to be as as amazing as she was. You know, afterwards when they were, um, you know, in the room with Claudia talking about the, uh, the performance, he just said he just kept making it better and making it more advanced because he was like, oh, she's actually really, really good. Um, do you think that is a result of dance training or do you think some people can just have it sometimes? Yes, they can. Some people just have that natural ability and the person i'm gonna pick up on for me was eddie no. and karen he has something in his body you can't teach okay he has that natural rhythm you can see the things that he's doing it, it just comes from within him he he feels the music and he expresses himself that's that's not something that you can teach someone he just has that do you, do you think that some um, celebs benefit from which pro they get teamed up in terms of choreography? So, for instance, you know, the the top of the leaderboard was Katia um, and Nigel. And Katia is kind of famous for being a particularly good choreographer. So, I mean, how much do you think that plays into it? Or do you think it's kind of they're all so talented, so it's all sort of fair game? What professional dancer you get? does make a difference because there are some obviously that are better than others the same as with the celebrities there's some celebrities that are going to be have more potential than others let's go on to our next segment because inevitably not everything can be perfect for every couple of course it can't uh, so let's talk about the strictly struggles this is where people always come back and go, oh, you're too harsh. Everyone was amazing. <laughs> Everyone did fantastic. Okay, let me put yeah. that out there. If we take Nikita and Gorka, they did the waltz. Waltz is one of the easier dances to make look good. Hence why I think she was given that dance. But it was pretty poor. Um, I was watching her and I was willing her on. She seems like a lovely lady. Gorka is probably one of my favorite professional was on the show as well i love him i think she did a fantastic job for week one but in comparison to everyone else yeah she was bottom of the leaderboard i mean craig gave her a three i i on my when i tweet about it live i gave her a three as well i think the other judges were very uh generous with their fives um so i felt for her and i hope she improves and i hope she comes back next week uh, but she wasn't bottom of the leaderboard though uh, are we going to talk about Les Denny? <laughs> yes, Les Gorka, <laughs> as much as I love him, it was really poor. And you can't compare his dance to someone like Krishnan. Because although Krishnan technically wasn't much better than Les, but he threw himself into it more. I know it's a totally different dance and the tango is much more serious. But Krishnan entertains. And for me, Les... I love him and I loved watching it and I want him to do well, but it wasn't great. It wasn't that entertaining. It was a bit stompy. His posture wasn't good. His timing wasn't great. He made lots of mistakes on steps. He's one of the people that I want to stay in the competition for a long time because I want to see if he can improve week after week. I don't want him to go yet. Angela and Carlos, um, they went out second. They danced the tango. And a couple of the pros actually were mentioning, oh, tango's a really tough dance to get week one. No, it's not. It's actually one of the easiest dances. Uh, once you get your frame, it's quite a walky dance. And I didn't think that they came out and did a good job. She was way too high in her legs. She wasn't in her legs enough. I don't think after watching that tango that she does have a lot of potential. Reason being... Because I feel tango is one of the easiest dances. Let's see if she gets a dance like samba or cha-cha or jive. I think she's going to really struggle. I expected Leighton uh, Williams to just nail everything perfectly because he's, he's so trained. You know, he's a, ba a professional ballet dancer. He was in Matthew Bourne's company for years. Still, his samba was there i mean i think he got some sevens and a couple of eights there um but you know i think 
I think I thought, and maybe the audience thought, that he'd really come in and just be 10 week one. And he, and he wasn't. And I think that goes to show how just how hard it is. Let's not forget, Samba is probably the hardest dance he's going to have to do of the series. And did he do a good job? Yes, he did. I could see his his dance ability is exceptional. The things that he's able to do with his body, his flexibility and everything. However, Samba is a rhythmical dance and it's quite earthy. And he was struggling with that earthiness. Everything was very high and really like out there like this samba is much more internal and um yeah like i said rhythmical and grounded yeah and, and that's the reason why i didn't actually like it as a samba yeah i can see how amazing he is as a dancer but as a samba i didn't enjoy it if anything he was one of the more forgettable performances of the night yes he was quite high up the leaderboard but you kind of went yeah yeah it's okay but having said that, I think he's going to blow us away with a lot of future dances because he started with the most difficult one. Who do you think is in trouble for next week? Who is who is in your top three to be in danger of going out first? I do feel there's a strong half of the leaderboard and then there's a big drop and then you have the other part. I mean, you had Annabelle and Johannes, who I loved, by the way. I thought she would, I mean, she's got legs to die for. She was just absolutely fantastic. So classy as well. Just, yeah. Yeah. The only, the only thing with them, their routine that kind of spoiled it for me was the whole tennis rackets and microphone and everything. I was like, she was so good. It didn't need it. But going on the leaderboard at the moment, I really worry for Zara and I'm going to say Angela. Okay. Said, yeah. And I'm going to put it out there. I don't think a man is going to go week one. I think it's going to be a girl. Les, I, I think I would pick up the phone and vote for him. Adam, adorable. I mean, he's so... When he came out and did his cha-cha, he opened Strictly Come Dancing. He was so excited about it. I wasn't... know. He's got he's a real like... infectious personality, doesn't he? He's so infectious. Um, so I don't think he's going to go. There's no way... Krishnan is going to go. And Eddie, I thought he was brilliant too. Yeah, so he was. I feel that it's because, because of that, they're the, the men in the bottom part of the leaderboard. I just feel that a, a female is going to go week one. And then we have our MVP. Who, which couple were your favourites? Who do you think is going to go far in the competition? Nigel. I mean, he's, he's going to get to the final. He's going to he's going to final. You've heard it here first. I think <laughs> Amanda and Giovanni are going to go a long way. I was actually, again, I, I marked at her a lot lower than the judges did. I felt that she was, although I can see she's had lots of dance training and the dance was fantastic, I felt she was losing balance a lot. I could feel her tension where she was nervous. Um, I, I didn't feel that she was totally in the dance, but I still feel that she's going to go a long way in the competition. I think Annabelle is going to go a long way in the competition. I think Ellie and Vito are going to go a long way in the competition. I think Angela Rippon is going to go a long way in the competition. And I also think Leighton is going to go a long way in the competition. And lastly, you have to put Krishnan in there because if he cre keeps creating the performances that he is, he's going to go a long way with the public vote. He's going to be your John Sargent, your Anne Widdicombe, your Ed Balls. <laughs> yeah. I'm in the same category as Ed Balls. I just found it infectious and amazing. I would say six people that are going to be fighting it out to get into the final. Well, we'll have to wait and see. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining Emmy and myself for our first week of Strictly the Truth. And join us next week as we say goodbye to our first contestant. And we're going to break down episode two. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe and head over to hellomagazine.com for all the information on Strictly. Strictly.